this is Lindsay Perot, and this is a look at the Slippery Slope digital board game. So I wanted students to be able to play this game while they are learning virtually. Um, it's a game that I've had out for 10 years now um, in physical form, but when students are going through distance learning, they obviously can't um, play a physical board game with each other. So what will happen is um, the teacher will assign one student to be the team captain, and that means that student will take this resource from Google Drive and bring it into their own, or from Google Classroom, and then they will invite up to two friends to join them. So what they'll do is they'll click the share button up here. They need to make sure to change this to can edit. If they do not give edit access, then they will not, the person they invite will not be able to actually play with them. So they can um, either share the link or type in the email address, and then once they share it, the other pe person will pop up here. So um, I shared it with another account of my own, so it shows who's being, it's being shared with. And then they can click this button, and it'll open up a chat. And this will allow them to communicate with each other um, during the game. And this is also going to be how they share their answers with each other. So what they'll do is um, one person they'll roll the dice to see who goes first. And if you look up here in the menu bar, it says dice. They can just hit roll dice. Um, I rolled a three, so I'll type in here. Um, I rolled a three. And then the other person will roll. And whoever gets the highest will go first. So then they'll come down here to the game board. They'll each pick a piece. So um, let's say I pick blue and the other person picks yellow. The green can either stay up here or they can delete it. It doesn't matter. Um, and then um, they can drag these down here to the start. And then whoever went first will, um, oh, I said I picked blue, will go ahead and roll. So let's say I go first, I roll, I got a two. So I'm going to move my space to my piece two spaces. So here I am on number two. It says splash card. So that means I come down here to slides four, five, or six, and I pick any of these cards. So I'm going to pick this one. I just slide this out of the way. Um, here's my question, card number two, what is the slope of the line represented by this equation? My slope is negative one. So I'm going to come down here. Um, I picked blue so I can erase this and type in my name. I had card number two, so I can just hi highlight this. And my answer is negative one. Um, I may end up putting text boxes here, so either your stu the students will see a text box or they'll be able to do what I just did here. And then we come back to the game board and it is um, my friend's turn. Now, there are, is an answer key down here. They are covered up. So my friend who I'm playing against, I, I can see right here, this is where they are. They're on this one here. They can see if my little bubble comes down here on the answer key when it's my turn. And if they see that comes down there, then they'll know that I'm peeking to find the answer. And plus, they'll also be able to see that I have to move this out of the way. So if they see this move, then they know that um, I'm looking for the answer. So my partner would come down here. They would slide this out for number two to see that I'm correct. Um, they can leave it slid out to um, show that it's been used, or they can put it back because there's a chance that some cards might have to be used again. So same thing here. This one can stay pulled out or it can get put back, whichever um, works best. You can tell your, the students what to do. Um, and then it'll be the friend's turn. And the friend will... Oh, actually here. So type to chat. Um, the answer was negative one. So you can share there. Obviously, you spell it, <laughs> spell it correctly. Um, or they can just see where the answer is typed here. But So they can chat. Then a friend will be like, great job. You're right. Now it's my turn. They'll roll. They'll move. And this is played just like shoots and ladders. So if they land here, they end up going up, and they would pick a splash card. Um, if you land here, then you have to slide all the way back down here, and you pick a splash card. Um, the directions state that if you get it right, you just stay there and you roll again the next time. If you get it wrong, you have to move back two spaces. Um, if I was here at number two and I got it wrong, I would just go back off the board. If I was number one I got two, I got it wrong, I would just go back off the board as well. So um, I really hope that you are excited about this and I hope your students appreciate being able to play a game together virtually. Um, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me at lindsayperot at gmail.com.